the recent patch 1.14, they buffed the damage of the hand-to-hand -hand arts weapon class. Apparently, this change has been heavily ignored by most people, but with a fair reason. There isn't a significant difference damage-wise when using these weapons compared to the previous patch. To address that issue, today I'm going to explain in detail how you can achieve the max damage possible using the Dane's footwork and the dry leaf arts. We will craft the definitive martial arts build featuring both a of war, dry leaf whirlwind and pole blast. As you can see, this is probably the worst looking setup I've used on my entire YouTube career. But what matters here is to take this weapon and abilities to the limit. This is quite sad because this character looks really cool with the running armor, the white red set and the Dane's hat. Anyways, I'm pretty sure eventually I will find an even way worse looking character, so let's focus on the performance. Both weapons, the dry leaf arts and Dane's footwork have an outstanding A scaling on strength when using the heavy affinity, which might lead us to believe that using a strength build will be the best for these weapons, which is obviously wrong, because they have a very low base damage, so even if the scale value was S, the damage output won't be as good as you might think it will be. This doesn't mean that the performance of the weapons will be bad, it will be at least decent or reliable, but not compared to other A or B scaling strength weapons. Even if you build your character around heavy attacks to get the most out of the fast heavy attacks of this weapon class, it's not going to be as good as the Iron Balls or the Star Fist. The most effective way to use this weapon is with the Bleed Affinity, what a surprise, right? This style's effect once again getting the spot like, I really don't understand why they focus so much on making this feature so powerful. It would be a lot better and refreshing to have more variety when it comes to choose a status effect. However, even if we don't like it, bleed is the bump. So combining the fast speed of attacks this weapon have with the successive attacks buffs and the bleed tools, we can pass from dealing this poo poo damage to get a completely broken martial arts setup that sadly looks horrible but at least deals a huge amount of damage. The main problem of using bleed instead of the heavy affinity will be when facing enemies that are immune to this status effect where having a better base damage will be significantly better than a C scaling on a strength and dex. It will still be ineffective, it is actually really effective, but in my opinion it's an important downside. Nonetheless, only a few enemies are immune to this broken status effect, so this setup will surely carry you through your entire journey. First of all, I'm going to show you the build, and then we will beat every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. We are going to be using the Dane's footwork on plus 25 with the dry leaf whirlwind ash of war on the blood affinity, the dry leaf arts on plus 25 with the palm blast ash of war on the blood affinity as well, and you know that you can use any weapon with the raptor optimist ash of war to be able to easily dodge the radan slide explosion attack. We need any seal we have available to cast our main boss, and if you are struggling to deal enough stance damage as these weapons are not the best to do that, you can use the uchi katana to help you with that task. And if you want to start the fight with the bleed buffs active, you can use any weapon with seppuku. I'm going to be using two pieces of the rakshasa armor set for 4% more damage, the Divine Bird Warrior Griefs for 4% more damage when kicking, and the White Mask for a 10% damage buff with each bleed proc. With all these items combined, we are going to get a very decent damage increase. But as you can see, our character looks terrible, so if you want to look a little bit better and you don't care about the damage, then I recommend you to use the Ronin's armor with the White Red Gauntlets and Griefs and the Dane's Hat. This armor set looks amazing with this type of weapons. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Shard of Alexander, the Shattered Stone Talisman, the Lord of Blood's Exultation and the Rodden Winds or Insignia. But if you are going to prioritize the use of Palm Blast over the Dry Leaf Whirlwind, then you can replace the Shattered Stone with the Godfrey Icon. A great feature about Palm Blast is the hyper armor it has when charging the skill. While Dry Leaf Whirlwind deals more damage in most scenarios, this is a very useful tool in certain fights. But don't worry if you want to keep this talisman set up, both weapons are going to perform great with it. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. If you don't want to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear because of the HP drain effect, the Stomach character is going to be extremely helpful to deal more stance damage with these weapons. We can say that the only downside of this build is that the stance damage is very similar to be playing with curved swords. The base damage is high but the stance damage tends to be a little bit lower. With this build we are going to be dealing only physical damage, that's why our best body buff is going to be Blood Boil Aromatic, but if you don't like crafting you can use Flame Grand Me Strength perfectly fine. And in this case I feel like using the Well Pickle Torten Lex is a little bit optional but I always like to do it to increase my stamina regeneration speed. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on vigor, 25 on mind, 40 on endurance, strength and dexterity, 25 on fate and 50 on arcane. I know that the way I distributed the stats this time looks a little bit awkward, but if you pay attention to the scale values of our weapons, you will notice that we are scaling C with the strength and dexterity, so it's better to spread our stats equally so we can get the most out of each one. The most important stat here is arcane, this one is going to help us to build up bleed quick 
quicker and in consequence deal more damage faster. Golden Vow and Flame Grand Me Strength are going to be our main buffs. And if you want to build a bleed even faster, you can use the Swarm of Flies. You have the stats to use this incantation, it's very cheap and very useful in most scenarios. And as you can see, I have my Scatter Tree Blessing on the level 20. And if you want to deal the max amount of damage possible to the hardest DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. First, you have to use your Flask of Wondrous Physic, then you have to cast Golden Vow and need a Pickle Torten Egg if you want. This time is completely optional. Then you are going to use your body buff. In this case, I will use Blood Boil Aromatic, but as I said before, you can use Perfectly Fine Flame Grand Me Strength. And this last step is completely optional, but if you want to start the fight with the Bleed buffs, you can use Seppuku and you refill your HP, your FP, and with that you should be ready to go. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Let's destroy him, guys. Come on. Ooh, moon! <laughs> nice! There we go. Get down, bad boy. Come on. Oh, this one was beautiful, guys. Let's go. This is going to be extremely difficult. Oh, but our damage is more than decent, honestly. That is a very decent amount of damage, bro. Come on. Let's destroy this guy, baby. Come on. Please tell me I was recording, bro. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god. Come on. Come on, baby. Amazing, bro. Let's go. Once again, guys, let's try to do it. Oh my god. Nice. Okay. Oh my god, careful there. Come on. Goodbye, buddy. Boom. It wasn't as good as I wanted to be, but it's more than decent, guys. Hey there, my friend. Are you ready? Take this bit hits, buddy. Oh, I can see. Wow, <laughs> that was certainly a little bit uncomfortable. Come on, one more, one more. Oh. <laughs> very nice, baby. That was very nice. Okay, the best we can do here is just be patient. Careful, here. I don't know why I decided to do that one. I don't think it's my smartest idea. Come 
Come on. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. Come on, quickly. Me, dude. Come on, come on, baby. Get busted, bro. Come on. Oh, beautiful, guys. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we do it as soon as possible, and it should be alright. Nice. That was an early dodge, so it was perfect. Amazing. Hopefully. risk it nice that's amazing now let's go fast now come on give it to me nice quickly get down the boy goodbye <laughs> nice baby 